Probably everyone who ever wanted to transmit something wireless with Arduino or any other uh, microcontroller came across uh, this and this. What are those? Those are extremely simple amplitude shift modulation 433 MHz uh, wireless modules. This one, sorry, this one with the small helical antenna is called FS1000A, which is a transmitter. Simple device, two coils, some electronics and frequency generator or something like that. And MKXY5V, which acts, acts as a receiver, uh, in theory matched with this one in practice. Well, it, it depends. Uh, those modules works in extremely simple way. Uh, if one, I mean the high level, is put here on this ATED or actually data pin on the transmitter, then signal is uh, transmitted wirelessly and this little device detects it and puts one high signal on one of, on one of data pins. The problem with those modules is that they are extremely simple. Uh, they provide nothing like the RSSI uh, error correction or frequency hopping or anything like that. Like that. Uh, so if this one is transmitting any any device like this is receiving and all the mm, computation, all the transformation required to properly receive the signal has to be done uh, via the software. There are a couple libraries that they are doing this, for example, uh, Virtual Wire or Radiohead, uh, but uh, they really, really are reported not to perform very well. Uh, I came across those modules like, I don't know, maybe two or three years ago and to try to use them uh, to transmit some uh, information uh, around my house. Uh, I gave up. Why? Because they are very uh, unresistant to any kind of uh, interference with anything transmitting somewhere around 433 MHz uh, band. Some people on the internet reports that uh, they are even not capable of receiving a signal when they are apart, like, I don't know, a few centimeters, maybe a few meters. And partially this is true. For example, here where I'm recording this video in the middle of uh, Berlin, and uh, the maximum range I'm capable of achieving uh, on those, even with bigger antennas, are about four meters. Why? Because I live very close to the hospital and that generates a lot of uh, interference. And if anything, I, uh, trust me, anything is transmitting somewhere around the frequency this one is uh, using this one will only receive a, a junk and and you will be unable to transmit any usable data but how they are performing in the open space um, i decided to check that out and came up with something like this first of all i equipped both transmitter and receiver with slightly bigger antennas. Uh, those antennas are 16 and a half uh, centimeters of copper wire here in the heat ring. So mm -hmm. to protect them or whatever. And this, those antennas, simple monopoles uh, are somewhere somewhere around 300, uh, 433 megahertz. It's not that uh, very much important, uh, just to give them a slightly better range. Mm, and to be able to do this, I also came up with something like this, which is a transmitter and transmitter comes here like this. Uh, so it fits here. Uh, it's Arduino Pro Mini uh, flashed with a virtual, wi virtual wire library and transmitting uh, every 200 milliseconds. Yeah, every 200 milliseconds it transmits uh, one number from 0 to 255 and something like this, which is a receiver that tries to surprise, surprise, 
receive the signal transmitted by the transmitter, decode it, and give me basic information if any packet was lost. Uh, because each packet has a number, like I said, it's, it's a number from 0 to 255, I'm able to count the packets and decide if anything was lost. If you will see here, uh, I don't think it focused. Uh, right now the error rate is close to 100 because the transmitter is not connected. Now, if I enable the transmitter, all at display will start to print the current packet number and the error rate will start to go down. With a setup like this, I've decided that I will test what's the real life range of those two simple modules in the open field. And maybe they will perform good. Maybe I will be able to reach a few hundred meters. <laughs> I really doubt it, but who knows? And to do this, I took them to my airfield where I usually fly an airplane. And this is what I came up with. Hi, and now it's time for our range test. As you can see, I'm in a kind of nice meadow. It should be pretty clear uh, from uh, all the uh, radio interferences. I really doubt there is anything transmitting in the 433 MHz uh, band. And let's hope it will uh, work like expected and I will be able to reach, I don't know, maybe 200 meters of stable transmissions. Um, let's, let's find out. As you can see, the transmitter is set. It's already transmitting. LED should be blinking okay so it's fine let's take a look at the receiver uh, flicker but you have to trust me that right now the error rate is zero antennas like are 20 centimeters from each other so so it's working this is the app i will be using to measure actual distance a simple GPS uh, based application that is capable of measuring the distances. Uh, I'm still waiting for a better fix so the accuracy can go below 4 meters. Uh, so let's, let's give it uh, still a second. Let's set base. Distance 0 meter. I will be taking the receiver and let's see how far we can get. Let's go! Right now I'm 50 meters from the transmitter and the link is super stable. I can move the antenna in end to any pol pol <laughs> into any polarization I want and still the error rate is uh, zero. So I think it's a good sign. Uh, let's keep going. Next mark 100 meters. Link is still stable, error rate is constant zero. Uh, but if I start to change the polarization of the antenna, from time to time it's losing a packet or two. But still, 100 meters, absolutely no problems. Let's keep going. Okay, I did not thought this through. Uh, <laughs> And uh, looks like I'm gonna have a problem because looks like there's a small depression over here and I have no idea how it's uh, how it's gonna work up with the reception. And I have a second problem. <laughs> Distance measurement application actually <laughs> restarted and I have really no idea how far uh, from the transmitter I am. Uh, but good news, uh, signal is still strong. Uh, error rate is zero. From time to time if I move it like this, there is no reception, but any second I make the antenna uh, vertical again, the reception is back, so, so it's a good sign. Uh, I will measure the distance when going back, so then I will know how far I got before the link was lost. Uh, let's go. Okay, I think this is as far as I can go today. Problem number one. There's water in front of me and I will not even attempt to cross it. I, I would prefer not to get wet. Uh, second of all, I no longer can see a transmitter. It's somewhere there over this uh, 
What's the word in English? I have no idea. Let's call it a small hill of a uh, small hill. Uh, but good news. Probably you will not be able to see it. But the transmission is rock solid. Uh, of course, if I move the... No, oh, even now it's rock solid. No, it's not rock solid anymore. But as long as the antenna is uh, kept uh, vertical, transmission is good. Uh, all the packets are received. So, really, really, those modules are really <laughs> have better rent than I expected them to be. Uh, I will have to find a, a better place to test the maximum range of those. Uh, we'll have to find uh, just a better place. Uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, because this is really, really uh, very promising. And I also think if I will go down with the transmission speed, which right now is 1000 uh, beats per second, I might be able to have even better reception. Okay, now I will get my uh, wrench uh, measuring application and I will check how far I really, really got before I had to stop. Okay, so I'm back at my car and uh, honestly, this this really worked much better than I uh, expected this to work. Not only I uh, reached the range of 200 meters, that was my goal for today, but I actually even crossed the 300 meters range of those super cheap Chinese, well, okay, not only Chinese, uh, 433 megahertz transmitter receiver combo. Uh, because I've done, let me, let me, let me see. I have done 315. Yeah, okay, let's assume it was 315 meters. Uh, I'm impressed, really. Uh, I never expected them to work uh, so well. Okay, let's be honest. It's open space. There is nothing. There are uh, no interference with anything. And uh, if not the problems, one of this uh, water and second of this small uh, depression over there, I think I would be able to reach maybe even 400 with a stable transmission. But when I was going back, I noticed that probably I was interning some of the Fresnel uh, zones because uh, there were like two places when uh, even if I was seeing the receiver, we were in one line of, we were in line of sight. Uh, the transmission was uh, not so good and I was losing packets. But besides of that, really, I am impressed. So the results are here and one more time. I am really, really, really surprised how well those tiny modules that would, with a pair of them cost, I don't know, two dollars, maybe, maybe some, something more, maybe some, somehow less, uh, how well they really performed. Uh, when I was playing with them previously somewhere around uh, my apartment here or my home in Poland, I was almost never, never able to reach the range of few few dozen meters and this time so what a surprise I reached 315 meters but remember this is open space and uh, there were no interferences with almost anything the most of the times both the transmitter and receiver were in the line of sight so nothing was almost nothing was uh, uh, What's the word in English? The, um, uh, so the transmission was very good, let's call it like this. Uh, but if anything was, like I said in the beginning of this video, was transmitting in the three, 433 MHz range, the, uh, the, the way how those two modules performs would drop uh, considerably. Uh, like I said, here in the middle of Berlin, the almost the most uh, with those antennas kind of big antennas i'm able to reach is more or less four meters mm, not enough for any real life usage but on the open field when there is nothing in between uh, that kind of gives some possibilities still i would not uh, use them for example to control an airplane or anything like that but for simple uh, indication that something simple, uh, something is working, some kind of telemetry, maybe transmitting some temperature, weather data, or something like that. If, if the air is clean of interference, that might be an option.